Do you have a gaming mouse or a regular mouse? Or perhaps even both? Do you ever question what the difference is between the two? Yeah, one is designed for gaming specifically, but does that make it a better mouse and better at gaming? You can spend about $10 on a regular mouse on Amazon, perhaps even cheaper, but you can easily spend over $70 on a gaming mouse. So what's the difference? Hey what's up guys my name is JD from JD Tech Gear and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC passion, tech reviews, unboxings, and setup design. So if you're into that sort of thing consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel and becoming part of the Tech Junkie family. Alright so there are a few things different between a gaming and a regular mouse and the first thing would be the sensor which may seem obvious at first but there's a little bit more depth to it than just the sensor so most regular mice use an optical sensor which uses an LED whereas most gaming mice use a laser sensor the reason being is that the laser sensor has a higher attainable DPI than optical mice but that does not mean it's superior. They both have disadvantages that don't really make one or the other superior over the other. Aside from that, higher end gaming mice use higher end sensors that have better gaming characteristics. I could go more in depth about that, but that'll be for a video later on. Another thing is that gaming mice also usually have higher polling rates, which is measured in megahertz. Polling rate is the rate of data being sent from the mouse to the operating system. A higher polling rate would result in less input lag, which is also very important for gaming. Next, key mapping and functionality. Most gaming mice come with extra buttons that are programmable to use as hotkeys or shortcuts. This comes in handy while gaming as the mouse can shorten the amount of controls that have to be done on the keyboard and replace them with the mouse where it is a lot more convenient for most people. Also, some higher end mice have more modular ability as well to fit different hand sizes and grips. Take for example the Mad Cat's Rat 8 in which I did a video on. It has completely swappable palm rests and extensions and also width adjustment. Additionally, many gaming mice have adjustable weights to fit the user's exact needs in terms of mouse movement performance. Another aspect that is massively different from regular mice is grip and palm design. A lot of regular mice are not designed with the idea of fitting inside the user's hands to gain more efficiently and comfort for long periods of use, also known as the ergonomics of the mouse. Now that does not mean that every regular mouse isn't designed with comfort in mind, but gaming mice do definitely have a much different grip. Gaming mice usually have a larger profile to fit the palm nicely to maximize comfort and also support different grips on the mice. That may not seem important to some, but for people who game for long periods of time, they can definitely appreciate that. I know I do. This brings me to my next point, the build quality of the mouse. Gaming mice are designed to be used a lot and take a beating, especially for ragers. Aside from that, the mouse is going to be used extensively and the rest of the parts have to hold up. The left and right buttons have to be more responsive and built well to deal with a lot of clicking and button mashing. Most regular mice would start breaking down quickly. Even with casual use, I personally notice that regular mice creak and the buttons start to feel mushy. Usually, most gaming mice come with a 50 million click lifespan for each of the buttons and remain very responsive for a long time. Another thing to mention is that most gaming mice use a braided cable, which is not necessarily more durable than rubber coated USB connection, but personally I do prefer the braided cable. And lastly, another vast difference would be software and lighting. Not every gaming mouse comes with software, but a lot of them do. Alternatively, regular mice don't have custom software to customize the mouse or none that I know of. The software for a mouse can serve many different functions such as creating different shortcuts, also creating different profiles for different programs and games that contain different DPI and shortcut settings specific to that program or game. Also lighting effects can be vastly customized to serve the user to their content. Many gaming mice offer backlighting and RGB lighting to fit many different themes and preferences. And if done right, can look very tasteful and add a nice addition to the overall appeal to the color coordination of the setup. So those are the main differences between the gaming mouse and the regular mouse or at least the ones that I recognize to be the most different between the two. There are definitely more. If you think there's more that I left out on this list, please comment down below and let me know and also add onto the list what you find is a lot different from a gaming mouse than a regular mouse or ones that you just don't recognize at all. So let me know if this helped you guys out. Perhaps you were thinking about getting a gaming mouse and just deciding, oh, what's the actual difference? I don't need that, but there are actually some decent differences. So let me know if that helped you guys out. And also if you wanna see more videos like this, consider subscribing, checking out the rest of the channel because 
become part of the Tech Junkie family. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.